Welcome to the CARC extract for DB2 for ZOS video. In this video, we'll learn how integrating CARC extract with Test Data Manager can help you improve the quality of your test data while supporting data governance and compliance at your site. Your development team is rolling out a new feature. They want to test this feature thoroughly, but know that the data they have in their test region doesn't adequately represent the data in their production region. Is there a way to use production data for testing while ensuring that personally identifiable information remains protected? CARC Extract, when integrated with Test Data Manager, provides a fast, flexible mechanism for extracting and intelligently masking large volumes of referentially intact data. Let's see how this works. Begin by creating a map CSV file in the Test Data Manager desktop application. The map CSV file contains a rule set that masks sensitive and classified data. The rule set is saved as a CSV file. Test Data Manager contains dozens of masking functions that you can use in your map CSV file. For example, you can include functions that generate a random credit card number to mask Visa, MasterCard, and American Express credit card numbers. Your rule set could also contain rules that mask information such as address, zip code, and phone number. In addition, your rule set can contain rules that mask a variety of recognized identification numbers from around the globe. Transmit this file to the mainframe. During the extraction process, CARC Extract applies the rules from the MAP CSV file, masking the data while it is in motion. In our example, CARC Extract extracts the data from the specified production tables, applies the rules from the MAP CSV file, and delivers the masked data to the tables in the test region. The TDM MAP CSV file field facilitates TDM masking in CARC Extract. Create the data masking rules in Test Data Manager and generate a masking rule set file, MAP CSV. This file contains the rules for one or many columns of one or many tables. The first column contains the table name, the next column contains the column name from the table, and then we move into the functions and parameters that will be used for masking the data. For example, we want to add a random number between 10 and 20,000 to the account number column on the account table. For the project table, we want to change the project name to an email address, increase the PR staff number by 50 for every row, and add 10 days to the values in the PR start date column. Let's compare the contents of the account table before and after masking. If we look at them side by side, we can easily see a random number between 10 and 20,000 has been added to every value in the account number column of the account table. Now let's look at the results of applying our masking rules to the project table. Project name is now an email address. The PR staff number has increased by 50 for every row and 10 days have been added to the PR start date column. Using this new capability helps ensure that you have the data you need to thoroughly test your new code while safeguarding any personally identifiable information that the data contains. For detailed instructions on this process, visit the CARC Extract documentation and search for Extract Masked Data. Additional information is provided via support and the communities. To get started, visit www.broadcom.com.